trying to figure out Alexis, and my thing with her is that she's very, um... Phony. Unfortunately, sometimes Alexis can be very phony. I do anchoring on the Fox 5 morning show. You're a news anchor? So, yes. Something about what she's saying all the time with me seems slightly phony. Our renting's really not much more than our mortgage would be. I mean, but that's my point. If you have that kind of disposable income, why are you renting? You should make sure that you have your rings, especially your ring, reappraised. I wear a fake one most of the time. If you have a ring, wear it. We have a convertible Bentley, we have a Phantom. We just sold my Beamer, so he's getting me a self 55. Give it a rest. I think you're an extremely shallow person. I think that you worry about things that you don't need to worry about. You're so worried about your image, and you talk about my money image. and you your money out your ass. I'm not saying you're a bad girl and I don't like you. Da -da -da -da. What I'm saying is you come off this way to people. You oh, tend God. to look very materialistic. I'm your friend, so I know where your heart is, but to somebody like Heather or Tamara that really doesn't know you, it sounds very pretentious. Yes, we like nice art. Yes, we like nice cars. Who cares? She we likes know. a 12,000 square foot about home. it all the time. Who cares? What does her home have to do with anything? I'm saying because she doesn't she talk her about money it. somewhere else. We don't want your money. We don't care about the I don't care about my money. I don't care about my money. I like Take it. Don't me out of it. Be a true person. Alexis, describe some of the emotions you went through after that confrontation. It's really hard to just have it done in the way it was done. I feel like it could have been, like if Gretchen had a problem with me, she could come to me and tell me something in private and in confidence and I would hear it and I would be like, wow, really? I just felt like it was done and it's all at once instead of just not ganging up on. I spoke to you in a clear, concise way. I wasn't trying to bully you, gang up you. I had no idea what anyone else was gonna say at that table. It could have ended there. Absolutely it could have, but it didn't, and that's a not in my control. Why did your husband, Terry, call her phony? Why, why do you think he called you he, phony? I, he's known me all of 20 seconds at that point, so I don't know. Well, I you could knew say me so all of 20 I, seconds and called me pretentious and my I didn't my say those career. words, and, and I could, I, people could sit here and say things about you, you, and you, and you all day Take long. I hear rumors what did you, all day okay long. What, what, what you do you think you put ending, off to no him after 20 seconds that made him think phony? I, I have no clue. You'd have to ask him that. I don't know. We got a lot of comments about the lunch, Tamara, that you had with Alexis. Here's a typical one. Bobby from Gainesville, Florida said, Tamara, I've never been an Alexis fan, but thanks to you, I feel sorry for her. Why did you go out of your way to be so vile and cruel? First of all, she asked to meet with me. I didn't ask to meet with her. And when we got there, she, she we were there like 45 minutes, and it was like, well, why do you think this? And why do you think that? And why do you think that? And she kept just beating it eating it and I just finally said you want to know how I feel I'll be and I said I'll be brutally honest with you and I said how I felt I didn't sugarcoat it I didn't try to make it it's something it wasn't and I, I didn't say I hated you I just said you're just hard to be around. I sat down and I never said, I was not grilling you. I want you. examples, I, I want this. That's because you were saying, you were throwing nasty comments at me. Of course I'm gonna ask for examples if you don't have anything to say other than throw nasty comments at me. If you can only just hit below the belt every time, I'm gonna ask you, well, give me an example instead of just spouting off. Cause I could sit here and just start saying things about you and not have anything to back it up. Yeah. So exactly what did you how... expect? This, she's <laughs> never been um, yes. coy about her opinions. I just wanted to get it amicable. I don't like being around bitter, old, nasty people. I want to be around people that are uh, upbeat and happy. I think she called you old. And, and bitter. But, but and she, nasty. It seems like she's right bitter. We're both older. I mean, I, I mean, just, I don't want to be, I just mean bitter people. I just want to be around happy, upbeat people that encourage each other. Encourage and uplift and... Well, we had a happy, happy moment as soon as you left Costa Rica. Well, I saw that, yeah. Tamara. The, 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 and it was light and, and guess bright what? and fun. And, and guess what? I've had happy good. moments with her and her when you're not around. Hmm. Hmm. Gretchen, Vicky accused you of throwing Alexis under the bus in Costa Rica. Did you? I had spoke with Alexis on the plane right over there, and I had told her that I knew that they really wanted to talk to you, and I actually told you exactly what I was going to say to you. So you were prepared. You said Heather Alexis. had the problem with me. You thought Alexis, that that was Alexis, I what gave was you the exact you example of the Bentley. Tell me that. If I, I ever thought you were going to saying that, I didn't tell you. If I that. ever thought you were going to do that and jump in How? on this intervention, 
Five seconds I before. I can't even believe you're saying that. Gretchen, five seconds before everyone sat down at the dinner, That's I looked at you and I said, you me. need to have my back. If what you're saying is true and Heather says something to me tonight at dinner and Tamara jumps in, you need to have my back. And you go, okay. I told you exactly what was going to go down. I even said, Lex, you here's some examples. And these are the things that I'm going to point out to you. You never. Yes, Gretchen, I did. I brought are you all those crazy? things. Up. Do you really think that, Gretchen? Yeah, Alexis. You're being about as real as you are, you. honest about how the that's fact that you wear extensions. You. Please I let Andy feel you your right hair because you've been lying about that for three what? years. What you've been lying about? to Andy about wearing extensions for three years. Please what let are, him feel your she hair. She showed him her extensions. Another thing, what are you another about? thing that, that I, you're so honest about, Gretchen. You lied about your lips. Oh you lied about God. all the crap you've had Alexis. done. Not everybody's hair is honest. Did you have your lips done? Yeah, I did. I did. You got your lips done. No, I didn't. I really 